this won't be an issue. Wow. Well, uh, so that, yeah, well, <laughs> um, hmm, this is interesting, <laughs> to say the least. It looks like we're having a bit of a chunk error here. I wonder if I can see it from down here. Wowza. <laughs> um, so, wow. Oh, it comes around the corner. Hopefully this won't be an issue. <laughs> Holy Jesus. Whew, okay, that worried me real badly for a second. Okay, let's let's get on with Hello everyone, this is Pause the Catch and welcome back to Yes, I know, another vanilla survival. Even though in the Sunday update I said that I would do a challenge video today. Well, I wasn't feeling up to it. I had already eaten enough candy <laughs> before and yes it had to do with candy. But hopefully that will come up either Wednesday, Friday, or next Monday, somewhere around then. So just yeah, just be be patient. It'll come up at some time. Um, depending on how I feel and how much time I have. But yeah, that was kind of crazy. Um, so, hopefully that will never happen again. And that kind of reminded me that I should probably back up my world. So I will be doing that after this episode. Yeah. Well anyway, um, you can probably tell that some stuff has changed in the world of my LP. So, First of all, I decided to go ahead and add a building over here because it's not super significant. Um, so I was thinking, you know, we have a building in like every corner here. We have my house and then the animal pen and then the beacon building. So why not have one in this corner? So that's why I did put one in this corner. It is the wheat farm. So I wanted to not have to use that sorry excuse for a wheat farm that is in front of the pool over here as my daily driver for wheat <laughs> production. So that's why I decided to, go s to just go ahead and add this building. So the first thing that I did though, actually, if I, I don't think I mentioned this yet, I decided to go ahead and build this up because before it was just kind of this and it was in the ground and there was like no purpose to it. It was just an entrance that was kind of flush with the ground. So that's why I built up a building around it like this pretty simple and then I was like wow I like how that looks so I decided to do that with a wheat farm so I was considering building this wheat farm up so it's more than just a wheat farm so it would have like multiple levels so it'd be like wheat farm and melon farm and roof and on and on but I was like yeah I don't like that when I first did it so I think either I'm going to go down into the ground with the rest of the farms or I'm going to add like a little or, or more of these and maybe in varying sizes so it'll be like a bunch of different farming pods everywhere which I think that could be cool by the way we are finally finished with this lake it's done it's filled in completely it's getting dark as well so I'm gonna go sleep do I have pearls? yes I do beep boop that was good alright I was worried I'm not the best with pearls. And sleep. So yeah, I finally finished filling in that lake. It took at least a double chest of dirt, if not more. Probably more. Probably more. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm glad that's over. Okay, so I decided to just go ahead and fill it in with trees that I need wood for, for example, for this building and other stuff. So we have some of the normal stuff, birch, spruce, oak, acacia, more oak for whatever reason, I put more oak there. Um, so yeah, oh god, my inventory is a mess, a complete mess. Okay, well, anyway, um, moving on, another change that you may or may not have noticed, um, is that the fountain is gone, the well fountain is gone. I decided I didn't like it, especially if I were building this, it's kind of bulk, it was kind of bulky and in the way, so. Eventually I might put something here like a little pond, but for now it's going to stay the way it is. Um, so yeah. Um, last but not least, I just added a little pass path here. Um, it kind of leads down. I might extend this. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, that's what has been changed in the overworld here. Um, nothing else has really changed. 
I believe that's it. Oh, um, I have been doing some exploring as well. So, I've been here for a little while. We've built up quite a lot of stuff. So I was considering maybe making like a little hideout place in a mountain. So, if I look at my trusty coordinate book here, I found a really nice mountain right there at negative 1188 and 791. So I really really like how that looks. It's very pretty. And um, I, went ahead, I went ahead and made a portal to the nether. Well, not. I made a portal in the nether that goes to the beautiful mountain. So let's head over there. There should be a door here. What? Why is... There was a door here before. What? Zombies, you jerks. Eh. Well, that's gone. Anyway, let's go to the nether now. Eh, stupid zombies. Anyway, um, so the nether, there have also been some changes in the nether, and one is right in front of me. So, y as you can see, there is like a little thingy around the portal now, just to, quotes, protect it, but it's mostly just for looks. Um, and then I also added this little thing, which is kind of nether fortressy, and then we have chests with minecarts in it, and I added this track, which is powered by these rails here. So let's take a ride. So this just goes to the hub from the home portal. So the reason I didn't make the the hub right at the home portal is that I might want to expand out like what I did for the beautiful mountain thing. Um, I might want to go different places and that's kind of like that's not centered at all. My house is like a thousand blocks away from zero zero so not really much point in putting it in the nether hub. But that's, that's kind of pointless right there, that portal, so I feel bad about that. But anyway, this is the track that goes to the beautiful mountain place. And it's really not that far away. Um, it's just down here. And there's Blaze's farm right there. So this is it, and then we can go through the portal. Um, it should be day, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> um, this portal, actually, if you're wondering how to calculate where- Oh god, there's a Blaze! Ah! There's two Blazes! Ash! Yeah, dude! Go away! Uh, can I catch my mountain on fire? Ow. Go away! Why are you there? Oh, good lord. Okay. Anyway. So this is it. Um, it's a really nice area. I actually really like this place. I, I like planes. If you can't tell, because my other base is in the planes. Don't burn the whole mountain, please. Okay, so yeah. Lots of forests flowers, planes. This is the mountain. It's a very nice looking mountain. The portal is in a really good spot actually. I calculated that very well. And actually that's what I was about to tell you how to calculate where to put your portal in the nether to go in a place. It's just like the coordinates of the place in the overworld divided by 8. Except for the y coordinates. The, the, the x and z coordinates divided by 8. So yeah, this is it. It's really nice actually. Um, I like all the flowers. They look nice. There are pumpkins over there. A nice, large, expansive ocean that goes far beyond the edges of Earth. Anyway, um, I really like this area right here. Um, lots of flowers. I think this is like some sort of flower biome. Flower forest, yes. Of course. Okay. Um, I like this side. I think that looks cool. So I might make like a base eventually somewhere over here. I don't know when. But for now, don't worry, we're going to continue working on the regular base. So that's that. And then, that's about it for over here. There's not much else. Um, there should be good, a lot of good resources. Um, I don't know what else is close by. I think there's a desert in that direction. It's kind of close by. I need to eat. I'm sorry that I didn't eat. Yeah, there should be a desert that way. Um... And that's about it. So that's the mountain. I think it looks nice. Maybe. I'm not sure where I would actually build a base. Maybe in the mountain. But we'll save that for later. But that's pretty much all the changes. And all the stuff that I wanted to update you on. In the world. Of my Minecraft LP. So yeah. That's about it. Let's go back. There's Pigman right there. I'm going to press forward. Go away. Uh. He's not going to move. Oh, there he goes. Yay. That's good. Okay. 
Let's try that again. That is the flaw in this minecart system, but I don't really care that much. So, yeah. This thing looks gorgeous, as always. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's about it for the nether stuff. Let's head back home on this rail right here. I might have to do some more nether hub building in the future. So I don't know if I'm going to make it look like that or if I'm going to make it look different. We'll see. Oh yeah, we have nether sheep. Simply because when I released all the sheep from my original farm, or that original place that I was holding them, um, below, below like that flat area where the well fountain was, um, I released them and the portal was like right there. So yeah, a lot of them got in the nether. So now they're another sheep, which I don't mind. Uh, that door. Zombies, they're annoying. So yeah, pretty cool. Alright, for the rest of the video, I thought, since we've already been looking around quite a bit, why don't I do a tour of everything else? Since it's kind of been a while, we've, we've done lots of stuff in the past, however many episodes it's been, I don't remember. That's why I don't say it at the beginning of the video. So yeah, why don't we start here? So this is the house where it all began. This is where I traveled over a thousand blocks to. You can see my coordinates right there. Um, so yeah, this is the original house that was bit built um, off the fly. I think it looks cool. Let's, let's get a good around the whole place look here. So this house, this really big house here, was the first thing built out of birch and spruce wood. We have a basement there, and then like the, it's a modern, it's a modern house, contemporary type house kind of look. And then we have a balcony right there. Ouch. And yeah, I think it looks cool. I'm going to end the pearl to the balcony. There we go. Okay. So inside the house here, you would probably walk in the front door instead of ender pearling onto the balcony. I would hope. So you just enter through the door here that's not broken unlike the other one. Um, and we just have a little table with an ender chest that has lots of diamonds in it. And an armor stand that used to have armor on it but is now away because I went to 1.9 and it deleted all my armor, unfortunately. We have a couple other armor stands. I might make an armory at some point and just a flower pot, that kind of stuff. And then we have this nice big area here with the floating staircase design. I really like this staircase design. It's not actually stairs, but hey, I think it looks neat. And it, I don't go up them very often. And we just have this nice rug crafting table that's in the middle of the place. Then we have the storage area over here with this random thing right there. Um, so that, yeah, this is the storage area. Not a whole lot of chests, but this is like quick access storage, you know, that kind of stuff. This would probably be either the SSD or the RAM. <laughs> I, I need to not compare it to computers. Okay, so over here we have the kitchen sort of area with the fridge that doesn't have a button anywhere because I didn't really have room for it with the flower. Then we have a potato on the wall, which is great. Some cabinets with the signs. Then we have some furnaces over here. That's supposed to be like the double oven. This is supposed to be like the stove top. And then we have brewing stand right there. Cauldron just for looks as it is the sink and we have a nice big window with a countertop. I like it. Um, over here we just sort of have like a little breakfast bar kind of area thing and it's yeah I don't use it for anything. <laughs> um, out here we have the balcony like you saw before a nice big window with those these would be slideable but they're not because it's Minecraft. Um, this has the best view in the whole place because you can just see the sun out there and that's why you might want to like sit here just watch the sun go down over the lake there I like it um alrighty moving on to the upstairs this is my bedroom it's a little packed in here with the rug and everything with the bed let's go ahead and sleep while we're up here um yeah you saw this before in the earlier part of the video um we have some doors here that just go out to the roof which is cool so that way we can jump into the pool down there which I will get to later so yeah this this um, bedroom is completely surrounded with windows so you can see out everywhere it's cool 
And then they decided to put a little out of here so you can go all the way to the top of the house. Cool. Moving on to the pool so we can just like go ahead and jump in it. Woohoo! There we go. So yeah. Um, I was like, hmm. I didn't know what I wanted to do down here, so I was like, let's build a pool. So that's what I did. I built a nice pool um, with some concrete or actually stone slabs. Be a nice quartz and birch wood fence thingy to keep the mobs out because they were a problem. Before I didn't have this little part, so they would just like climb on there and over. So yeah, we have some nice sick umbrella bros with the little chair thingies. And yeah. Nice pool. You can just step up and it's all cool. And then we have some stairs that go back up and actually I'm going to go to the garage first. These are doors. I don't use them. They take too long. So this is the garage, which I am actually very happy with. There was a time lapse in one of the previ previous episodes of me building it. So there's a little door that you go through to get in the garage or you can just go through the fences. This is where I keep my horse. I haven't named him yet because I don't think I actually have any name tags. The one that I used is on the Ender Farm, which I will get to eventually. So yeah, this is my this is my horse. Pretty sure he's fast and that's why I have him. So yeah, we got some iron armor on him. Cool. Moving on to the animal pens up here. Just go up the stairs and to the left. We have the animal pen. And we have sheep on this layer, so, so it's like a layered sort of thing. Um, currently we have it at three layers, we only use two of them. So you just go up the stairs to the desired animal. And yeah. Woohoo. And that is the animal pins. Not too much there. Then we have the beacon building. Woohoo! So there's actually another ladder, so you can actually get onto the roof there. Um, this is the beacon building. There's a beacon. There's a portal. That's about it. It has a really big window. So yeah, it's missing a door. Thanks to the zombies. Um, next up, which was the most recent thing that I actually just showed off, is the the wheat farm. It looks like a lot of the wheat is almost done growing. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then actually there's a little bit of a basement area here that I can expand the farms down into. So that's it for that. And then on to the next thing over here. This is the donation station. So this is where your name will be put if you decide to donate. No one has yet. I can understand why. Um, but yeah. <laughs> it, looks, it looks really cool, especially in Sfax. I really like how this place looks in Sfax. It's very nice looking. So yeah. Pretty cool. Moving on, um, let's see what else do we have in the overworld. I think that's actually about it in the over in the overworld. Um, let's see. I already showed you the Nether, so I guess let's go to the end. I will see you over there because I actually have a very long minecart ride to get there. <laughs> so yeah, see you there. Just realized, never show you the basement of the house. So <laughs> you just have to go down these stairs. And then here's the enchanting table with the anvil and everything. There's actually a little crafting table in the corner there. Furnaces for extra smelting. There's my little desk area. That should be a painting, but since I did this when I wasn't in Sfax, it just looks kind of strange. So yeah, that's mouse, keyboard, what should be the monitor or the laptop. Little plant. And I have an extra bed in case I need it to go on like a journey or whatever. And down here we have the main like backup storage place. So this is where all the extra blocks go that don't fit in my quick access chests. So yeah, lots of cobblestone. <laughs> lots of cobblestone. Um, I don't have much in here yet because the storage upstairs seems to be plenty for now. This is where Harry Potter lives. He has some cobblestone. That's all. Um, then we have just like a little everything that I usually just keep open for convenience. Um, this leads down to the mine track area. So here we kind of have like a subway thing. This is probably what you saw when the chunks were loading at the beginning of the episode. So yeah, that's just an area that I might put furnaces in. So yeah, this is kind of the subway feel. You just go down these stairs 
and you have this waiting area, then here are the tracks. So this track actually isn't finished yet. Um, this part is, but the the whole thing, which is a good thousand blocks long, I have a lot of diamonds in there. <laughs> wow, because I was mining this whole place, and this is actually at like um, yeah, it's at eleven. So that's why I have so many diamonds. So yeah, um, this goes to the end. So I'm gonna go write it, and then I will be in the end. Here we go. forgot that there are still some missing tracks. You know what? Why don't I fix that? And that was there. And we're there. Wait. Okay. So I just got back in it. Alrighty. So that is the minecart track. If you're wondering why um, the booster rails are so in inconsistently placed, I just like placed them whenever when I was walking. It was too long to care like if I did it every 20 blocks or whatever. So this is where the end is. It is actually very far away from um, my home. It's a good thousand at least a thousand blocks away probably a lot more um i kept the spawner here just because you know in case i want to use it but let's hop in um the end is nothing exciting like right here it's just like normal nothing special um but then if i turn around we have a path this leads to the enderman farm this was a pretty big project that i did i think in like episode 10 maybe it was a few episodes ago um, so yeah, this was a big project. Fortunately, it didn't take that much effort, um, but like I said, I used the one and only name tag that I had on the silver fish thing, cousin, I don't know. Um, so I forget, Endermites, right, yeah, Endermites. So this is the Enderman farm. Um, nothing special aesthetically, um, but we just have an enchantment table right there, crafting table, the, that kind of stuff. And then we have a ladder that goes all the way up to the top. Um, so basically, the Endermen, they spawn way up there, they fall down through that chute. When they're attracted to the little Endermite that I was talking about, they run at it, but with um, strategically placed um, <laughs> minecart trap, or uh, not minecart traps, <laughs> um, trap doors, um, they will just walk on them and then fall down. So I might show you that, probably not, because Endermen are scary. Um, and then the whole place is covered in water, so they don't teleport or anything, so yeah. Yes, they're all one hit from this, which is good, and you get lots of XP. So yeah, that's about it for this whole thing. This is where I get all of my ender pearls, and it's actually really nice to have this, so I get so many ender pearls, um, because they make life a lot easier. So yeah, that's about everything. I just bumped my mic, hopefully you didn't hear that. Um, that's it or everything in my world. We're not super far along actually, but we do have quite a bit of stuff done. Eventually I will be upgrading to 1.9. Um, that will probably be once it's completely released and once Optifine is out for it because I probably would not be able to record these videos without Optifine. We're at about 30, floating at 30 with Optifine, which is good. Um, so yeah, but that's it. Thank you for watching this world tour video. That was sort of an update world tour video. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, do subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.